Hi friends, in this video let's discuss about property binding. So binding the component class properties to the template that is a HTML content is known as property binding. So how we can achieve property binding? Suppose I have a text box here. Let's consider a text box. Input type equals text value equals some value now let me run the command npm space start now if you observe the browser we have a text box created over here with the value as Harsha now what I am going to do is I am going to declare a property inside the component class and let's use that property let's bind that property to template that is a HTML content. So let's declare a property here public my id equals for example test id. Now this property this id property I want to bind to HTML content ok. So now if you observe here input is the tag name followed by this we need to specify id inside the square brace inside the square brace that is equals to the name of the property specified inside the component class name of this property is my id so i need to specify this my id inside the double quote this is how we are declaring the property binding that is we are binding this id from the component class property to the HTML content specified inside the template. We are binding like this inside the square brace and we are specifying the name of the property. Name of the property is my id. So I am specifying this name here. Okay. Now I am saving these changes by using control s. If you observe the browser now, okay, let us open the developer tools that is the console. Let us inspect this that is by using F12 in this case inspect if you inspect this element you can observe that id it is showing as test id this id equals test id we got from property binding that is we are binding this property to the html content okay this is one way of doing property binding so the another way of using property binding is similar to this what we need to do is instead of using square brace we have an alternate approach for it that is by using bind we need to specify the keyword that is bind hyphen id bind hyphen id equals the name of this that is my id my id is the name of the property now if i am saving the changes okay i saved the changes now if you observe here if I am inspecting this element over here still it is showing as id equals test id. So there are two ways of using property binding by using square brace for this or you can use bind hyphen the name of this ok and inside the double quote we need to specify the name of the property which we have specified inside the component class. So the process of binding the data from component class that is properties to the HTML content inside template is called as property binding. So in the previous video we have seen what is interpolation. Interpolation also it is one way of using data binding and this property binding is also another way of using data binding. So what are the differences between interpolation and property binding? What is the drawback of interpolation and how we can overcome with property binding? Let us see in the next video. Like. Uh, what are the problems we face in interpolation which can be solved using property binding ok. There are more videos coming, coming up guys please do stay tuned for my videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos. Just click on the bell icon so that you will get notifications whenever, whenever I am uploading a new video. Okay, bye.